Uh, here I'll be uh, discussing TPC 16 where um, like uh, there is a set of elements given that is set A having uh, n different elements and we are supposed to form uh, subsets P and Q of set A and uh, the question the kind of questions we are going to discuss here like uh, in um, how, 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 how many ways how many ways are there to form subsets P and Q such that P union Q includes all elements or, or P union Q includes R number of elements or P intersection Q includes R number of elements or, or it is empty so let's let's discuss this through some problems so I'll be um, mm, discussing illustration 70 in illustration 70 See, there is a set A of n elements, n different elements. We can say a1, a2, a3, a4, a5 goes on till an. Now the two subsets P and Q are formed. Now the way two subsets P and Q are formed is first of all P is formed, and then elements of P are replaced back. So it means P and Q can have same same type of elements because we are forming two sets with replacement form P replace elements back and then uh, we have to form set Q right now we have to find uh, number of ways to form P and Q such that P union Q uh, P union Q uh, equals to A right P union Q has all elements right now there's a there's a way in which we solve uh, these kind of problems like the the TPC 16 problems so what we do if you see element a1 for element a1 we have uh, we have following choices this is uh, uh, set P and this is set Q now what can happen to element a1 is element a1 can go to set P that is it is selected in set P but not in Q another option can happen is it is selected in Q but not in P or it is selected for both P and Q or it is neither selected for P nor for Q so these four things can happen for element A1 it, it got selected in both P and Q got selected in neither of the two in P in, in not in Q in Q but not in P now you can see out of these four cases which one favor P union Q equals to A like so see P union Q has each and every element A1, A2, A3 till A that's the idea we have to find number of ways to form P and Q such that P union Q has every element so A1 should also be there in P union Q so A1 can come into P union Q either through P so this is a favorable case it goes in P and through P it comes in, a, in P union Q through Q it goes in Q so through Q it can be included in P union Q and this is also a favorable case if even element goes in both it is also a favorable case because it will come in P union Q but this case is not a favorable case because if element A1 neither goes to P nor to Q it means it is it is not going to come in P union Q right P union Q is combination of P and Q if it is not present in P as well as Q it is not going to come in P union Q so out of four possible options for A1 three are favorable so number of ways to decide about A1 so that it it, it it gets included in P union Q three ways now if we take element A2 again we have the same options for element A2 to be included in P union Q there are three options it goes both it goes to both P and Q P not in Q Q not in P so again we have three options so if we repeat this if we keep on repeating this for all elements till a n we'll get three n times three 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 multiplied n number of times the total number of ways to form P and Q is three to the power n Uh, this is a uh, uh, example based on TPC uh, 16 and uh, illustration 71. Now, uh, um, like uh, you can first of all go and go through the solution of uh, illustration 70 and then uh, come to 71. Now, like uh, in this case, uh, uh, set X is given with n elements, all different from each other. And then two subsets P and Q are chosen. 
with replacement when we say with replacement means first of all set p is uh, formed elements are taken out and set p is formed and then elements are replaced back into the set and then set q is formed so it means p and q can have same elements repetition can occur because we are replacing and then we are choosing the second set so second second subset q now we have to find number of ways to form p and q such that p union q has r elements p union q has r elements right so first of all what uh, first of all uh, like we are going to select r elements in ncr base right select r elements in ncr base which will be present in p union q right now for these r elements which are going to be part of p union q like uh, for these r elements we we take them one by one we take suppose a1 is suppose any element a1 is there right now this a1 element which is going to be part of p union q there are three options which are favorable first is this subset p and this is subset q now for for a1 to be present in p union q a1 can either go to p but not in q so it means it is selected for p but not for q or it can be selected for q but not for p or it can go in both p and q so these are three options which are favorable for a1 for a1 to be included in p union q the option that is not favorable for a1 is neither a1 is selected for p and nor it is selected for q so neither it goes to p and nor it goes to q so if it is not going to p or q it is not going to be included in p union q so we we don't need want this option we don't want this option for these are elements which are going to be part of p union q right so we can say for r out of the r elements for first element to be included in p union q there are three choices for first element among r elements there are three choices now if i take second element from these r elements say a2 for a2 also we have three choices either a2 can go in p not in q it can go in q not in p or it can go in both p and q so for second element a2 has r options so this goes on till r elements r times right so 3 to the power r now we'll see the remaining elements there are remaining n minus r elements is we, we selected r elements and for every we, there are three choices so 3, 3 to the power r base so that p union q has r elements but now the remaining n minus r elements now we have to make sure these remaining n minus r elements should not come in p union q right none of none of them should be in p union q otherwise p union q will have more than r elements so now if i say remaining element in say say some ak this for ak see it should not this is th this is wrong it this is for a1 um like a1 should a k a k should should neither be selected in p nor in q so that we don't want a k to be present in uh, p union q so the only option for a k is neither it goes to p nor to q right if 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 if, if a1 if if you put any of these options for a k then it will be included in uh, p union q so elements which are not selected in r elements the remaining elements n minus r elements for them we have only one choice one choice for how remaining n minus r element so number of ways is 3 to the power r 1 to the power n minus r or we can simply say 3 to the power r uh, we have to ncr is number of ways to select so number of ways is ncr to select r elements and for these r elements we have our choices and one choice for remaining n minus r elements